welcome 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 back to our sweet home nigeria my as usual my name is mrs augustina anyamo and help me to welcome my dear friend mrs glory Ezema. welcome welcome back to our show once again we have a great topic and i know everybody will be wondering why are we all dressed up like this of course we're nigerians we are graduates of course that's right yes <laughs> hello all nigerian graduates <laughs> and the students exactly. those that are yet to graduate that's true all right you know that's one thing unique about people from nigeria all over the world wherever they are they are highly highly educated that's right i know a lot of people know nigeria i mean not a lot just few people know nigerians um for other reasons but personally i know nigerians as intellectuals so that's why we're wearing this once again to make a fashion statement that our, our country that is full of highly educated men and women not to talk of the ones in diaspora all over the world nigerians are doing so well and they have degrees and it's not just one degree many of them have like two or three degrees so my dear friend hey i know you're nigerian so how many degrees do you have yes i am a nigerian and i will remain a nigerian oh. mm -hmm. for the rest of my life because i'm so proud of that country so how many degrees do you have uh where do i start <laughs> you mean the one i'm graduating from today you have bachelor's or master's or phd oh Right now, I can see myself as somebody who have a master's degree. Okay. Yet to get my back, um, my doctorate degree. Okay. So bachelor's uh -huh. been years. Okay. So right now, as I said, I have master's degree. Very good. And what about you? What are you graduating from? What class? <laughs> well, I have I have a degree in nursing, you and do? uh, I'm doing my master's soon. And then I think after a year I'll do my PhD. You know I'm in Nigeria. I have to well, go well, higher. From no, 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 I have first. to go You have higher. to get your master's first. No, but I'm going no, for no, my no, PhD. No, no, no. I know you have to get your PhD. Uh -huh. You have to get your master's first. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, okay. So I'm doing my. I will do my master's in public health and then my PhD in public health education. Is that true? Um, my dear, before good? we used to say sky is your limit, mm -hmm. but now people are going to Mars, okay. so it's just endless. Okay. You can get whatever you want to get because mm -hmm. you cannot limit yourself unless you say you want to stop. That's when you limit yourself. Okay. But after all said and done, so long as you're a graduate, that's what matters. That's what matters, to that's our what parents, matters. Yes. which is very good. Uh, my fellow Nigerians, we're very proud of you, highly educated Nigerians. Because there's something about Nigerians that even when you go to the marketplace, you see someone selling something and you go to them and you ask them, um, how far in education did you go? You'll be surprised that the person will tell you that they have either bachelor's degree or master's, though they're selling petty things in the market. So that's, that will tell you how much education Well, it's peculiar are. about exactly. Nigerians because exactly. we just want the green. Is yes. that what you're saying? No, no, we want the degree. We want the degree and the green. Exactly. Oh. All okay. right, so this brings us to our topic today. So our topic today is how do we bring all these degrees that we have to development in our country? So that's why we're here today. My friend and I will give insights on things that we can do to bring those degrees to development in our country because we can't carry them just like a, a basket on our head degree in engineering degree in this degree in this and then we're not bringing it out to be able to use it to develop our land like i said with the people in diaspora they are doing so well there they are making money with the degrees but the only thing is that we want to bring out that skill that we learned in our land so my dear friend this is a question for you <laughs> Um, I know we heard about nurses that go for medical missions. We have we had doctors that go for medical missions. So mine is that we also have engineers, and uh, how I wish they would go for electrical missions so that they can rehabilitate our epileptic electric system. Because I mean I know that we have so many people that can do so many things in our country with the degrees that we have and we don't want them to die outside the country with these degrees yes they went to school but uh wherever they are they're doing so well they have the job but they're not bringing out that skill so what do we do 
to get them back. I know we talked about it before, but now we have new governments. Mm -hmm. So how do we bring these degrees to development in our country? Oh, are you I talking guess. about those here? Yes, the ones in diaspora. Okay, the nurses and doctors go for medical mission. I, I go, I'm no, talking about engineers. I'm talking so. about the engineers. And I'm you wish yes. they can go and revamp, they can go and resuscitate our dead uh, our electrical, electrical system. system. Exactly. I yeah. think uh, that's a, a nice proposal mm -hmm. so that, uh, you know, the engineers can start thinking and working towards that mm -hmm. and know that uh, they are important too. It, it's not only the doctors mm -hmm. that can go and give people, you know, regular check up exactly. or whatever they can do to make people know how to eat right and how to live right, mm -hmm. that we need their help too. No matter the degree they have here, no matter what they do here, you just want their their education and qualification to benefit us exactly. in Nigeria. Exactly. My dear, that's a very nice topic. Mm -hmm. And um, I think uh, if they work together with the Nigerian government, okay, because uh, most of us here do not actually know if um, the electrical system or the oil or whatever we have there, we do not know how the government, uh, you know, apportion it and who is in charge of what. So I think uh, they, this is what can be brought to the table with this new government. Mm -hmm. So they can be able to, you know, fill us back and feed us with what is going on. Then the engineers, as you suggested, will be able to know where, where they can start as to be able to penetrate, as to be able to be more useful to those at home as well as those that are here. So I think uh, that that's a very nice thing for engineers to think about and know how to offer their own help. Exactly, because I mean, most of the time we talk about people in health care, mm -hmm. but I, I think it's time to talk about because we have so many things to do. I mean, that engineers can do. I know each time, almost every episode, I, I point to engineers. <laughs> There's something that is saying along with when you when a child is pointing, if the when father the is not is there, crying, I'm pointing somewhere. somewhere. If the father is not there, the, the mother, mother is, is hiding there. somewhere there. So you are saying that they're not a. Uh, you know, bringing out themselves as much exactly. as they should because as I mean, to be able to help our nation. Exactly, because we're talking about Nigeria in particular, but when you look at the African nations, we have so many mineral resources. And I know we have trained a lot of engineers, so is it not time for them to start, you know, drilling these things, the oil by themselves? I mean, having, like, mining the, even the gold, the silver, everything that we have. And then, you know, you wouldn't even believe it. A lot of them are like supervisors, wherever they are in the diaspora. I but if it. you can supervise people, that mm -hmm. means you are capable of, mm -hmm. you know, owning those companies, doing those things by yourself. So why can't our engineers step forward and help? Because it will benefit our people more. I know the foreigners are coming out to, I mean, to drill the oil and everything. But if you work with them, why don't you establish so, so companies? And then you can practice what is called fair trade because at least when you do those things by yourselves, at least you will be able to have control and be able to, you know, make the resources be useful to the people that own it. So that's why I'm really pointing to engineers. I know there's so many other areas that we can, we have pharmacists, we have uh, scientists, like I said. I mean, there are scientists outside, but I think it's time for them to come home and then show us the degree at home because I mean outside sometimes even when you're quarreling with one or two, the other they will be like who who do you know who I am <laughs> no problem with that but if you're someone show us in Africa who you are and what your degree is all about it's not just um, working just for money but let's harvest you know things that are inside us like I said give them you know good ground the government should give them good ground we have pharmacists that can come out and use some of the herbs and things that we have in Africa to be able to manufacture drugs. So these people should come out. We shouldn't actually, I brought all the certificates about degrees and everything. I said we shouldn't just carry our degrees on our head like this. This one is um, bachelor's. <laughs> Hold this one for me. This one is master's. This master's one is in master's in education. <laughs> this is PhD. And this is another PhD in something else. And this is PhD. I mean, we can't carry the degrees on our head. We have to offload, offload the degrees and let it be useful in our country. So our point is this, actually. Um, I think people should either collectively or individually step back to Africa, be able 
to you know bring out what you have studied so that it can benefit the people. Because if foreigners are going from here, if people from other nations are traveling to Africa to see what they can do for us, what about Africans themselves? But another thing, like this one that I'm calling you, mm -hmm. another thing is you had mentioned about, uh, let's say if you go to the market, you can see people with degrees mm -hmm. and they're selling petty things. That one is telling us that government is not making any provisions exactly. for them to right. be able to impact mm -hmm. other people or to use their expertise to benefit the nation as a whole. Because uh, over here, um, there are some schools you will go, all those uh, industries or factories or companies, mm -hmm. they go in the school to hire people. Yes. So that as soon as you finish school, I'm just talking about over here mm -hmm. in the school. So they will come there and hire some students and they will do internship. Like one of my kids, they went to the school, they paid his way to come and do internship. They're teaching him already mm -hmm. what they do in a practical way because they know that his major is focused on that. You That's understand? True. So first of all, that will help him to see, oh, is it where I'm going in? Am I ready for that? Am I qualified? Do I think that's what that subject is all about? Or that my major, that's where it's going. Oh, I like it. I want to do it. So by the time he finished, he already have a, an idea exactly where he's going and then that means he already now have to say okay there will be a job for me when I finish school yes. so if Nigerian government can help our students and the teachers too, exactly. yeah. and uh, help pay the teachers to avoid strike so that students when they tell you okay I major in engineering they can be able to represent that not I major in engineering when the teacher give you the pass mark that you didn't marry because the school, the universities are back and forth mm -hmm. on strike, or oh, school is closed, you have to pay for this, you have to pay for some kind of papers. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you will graduate. So it's still like uh, something going some around. Exactly. So something, there had to be, something had to be done. Exactly. The government, Commissioner for Education, mm -hmm. so wherever they are, both in federal and local level, and uh, state level, they have to know exactly what to do to make sure that student will represent. I think that's one of the reasons why they want to hire foreigners. Mm -hmm. They think they are oh, they have more quality education because we get our students mm -hmm. always uh, teachers on strike. Papers are being typed and sent to them. Mm -hmm. When you pay certain amount of money, mm -hmm. if the government start that. Our students are so brilliant yes. because when they come out here mm -hmm. in a school, they excel. So our students are so brilliant. Mm -hmm. All they need is the right equipment. Mm -hmm. All they need is the right information. And so that when they come out, they can deliver properly. And then that will even make us not to go outside to look for what we already have inside. That's because true. we have more qualified and more capable hands of doing the job mm -hmm. that we know will benefit us too. No matter we are doing it, getting paid, we are going to benefit from it at the, you know, exactly. at the end. Exactly. So I think government have to come in somewhere. I don't know what you think about that. No. So they will stop selling crayfish or selling mandala when they get graduate from school exactly. because of there's no job. Exactly. Actually, you hit the nail on the head. Um, because with our government, um, we're well, coming back to you. You see, the ones in diaspora, they have all the degrees, but they need to come home. And you have to give them, you have to give them that opportunity to be able to offload their degrees. Because if mm -hmm. not, they will die in diaspora mm -hmm. with this great knowledge. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, we, it's widely said that knowledge is power. So the, this is the power to make changes. It's not the power for us to fight each other. That's what knowledge is all about. So our point is that we need the opportunity especially the ones that have studied so well. Once again, I'm pointing to the engineers. I think it's time for all of you to collectively start going on a electrical mission, whatever, any type of whatever name that you want that to give it. That has to your village. Exactly. Start with your village. We have roads that need to be built. Need to be built. We have, oh, yeah. they, we have so many things now. that engineers can do in our country. So collectively, wherever you are in diaspora, come together brainstorm and see how you can revive the electrical system in our country and in the whole Africa. Because without electricity, it's very difficult for us to develop. 
Preservation of food will be very difficult and so many other things that needed to be done. Right. So you are the forefront. Go back to Africa, get the electrical system in, in place, and then other people will start coming. So start going place and upload your degree in Africa. So that's our show today. You know, and we thank all the countries that have given us asylum to be able to practice what we have learned. But uh, it's always good for us to, at the same time, be able to help our people. Because I said it before, if people from other countries can travel to Africa to help our people, what about, what about us? us? What about the indigents? Mm -hmm. So that's our show today. Go home and think what you can do in Africa. So thank you for watching once again, because wherever you are, home is still the home. best. Yes. Thank you so best. much for watching thank our show today. Thank you for watching us today. And continue to give us your comment, and uh, we'll be able to deliver. God bless you, and you have a great day.